Non-relational databases. Let's start off by comparing non-relational databases to relational databases. First of all, it is about how data is managed. In relational databases, you can use SQL, that is simple and lightweight language, for writing database scripts. Non-relational databases do not support it, so you might refer to them as NoSQL databases. The second big difference is structure, how data is stored. In relational databases, data is divided into tables that may have relations between them. With the support of primary keys, triggers, and functions, you are capable of creating complex dependencies between tables. This most likely will represent business model and logic inside the database. NoSQL databases are based on the very simple structures like key value storage or a graph that does not support such relations. There's many benefits to using non-relational databases. The first one is the support for multiple data models. The relational databases require data to be put into tables and columns to be accessed and analyzed. The various data model capabilities of NoSQL databases make them extremely flexible when it comes to handling data. The second major benefit is that it is easily scalable via the peer-to-peer -peer architecture. It's not that relational databases can't scale. It's just that they can't scale easily or in fact cheaply. And that's because they're built with a traditional master-slave architecture, which means scaling up via bigger and bigger hardware servers as opposed to out, or worse, via sharding. Sharding means dividing a database into smaller chunks across multiple hardware servers instead of a single large server, and this leads to operational administration headaches, and so on. Instead, look for a NoSQL database with a masterless peer-to-peer -peer architecture with all nodes being the same. Next comes flexibility. Where relational databases require data to be put into tables and columns to be accessed and analyzed, the multi-model capabilities of NoSQL databases make them extremely flexible when it comes to handling data. They can easily process structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data, while relational databases, as stated previously, are designed to handle primarily structured data. Distribution Capabilities Look for a NoSQL database that is designed to distribute data at global scale meaning it can use multiple locations involving multiple data centers and or cloud regions for write and read operations. Relational databases, by contrast, use a centralized application that is location dependent, especially for write operations. A key advantage of using a distributed database with a masterless architecture is that you can maintain continuous availability because data is distributed with multiple copies where it needs to be. With no SQL, there is virtually zero downtime. The final, but certainly no less important key feature to seek in a NoSQL database is zero downtime. This is made possible by a masterless architecture, which allows for multiple copies of data to be maintained across different nodes. If a node goes down, that's no problem. Another node has a copy of the data for easy and fast access. When one considers the cost of downtime, this is a big deal. There are four main categories of NoSQL databases which are used for different use cases. They are document, key value, columnar, and graph. Data is represented often as an object or JSON-like document. The flexible, semi-structured, and hierarchical nature of document databases allows them to evolve with application requirements. Document databases store and retrieve documents, and the basic atomic stored unit is a document. A document database contains a collection of key value pairs stored in documents that are both natural and flexible for developers to work with. A graph database's purpose is to make it easy to build and run applications that work with highly connected datasets. Typical use cases for a graph database include social networking, recommendation engines, fraud detection, and knowledge graphs. Let's talk about the basic building blocks of a graph data model. A node represents an entity, which could be a place, person, thing, category, or other piece of data. And relationships represent how two nodes are associated. Looking at the example provided of social media, use profile which is represented as nodes and relationships are shown as arrows connecting the nodes with each other. Another example would be that of an organization's personnel database, structured as a graph. The entities are employees and departments, and the edges indicate reporting relationships and the departments in which employees work. 
A key value database stores data as a collection of key value pairs, in which a key serves as a unique identifier with its associated value. The value can be any sort of byte array, data structure, or binary large object called a blob, and works well for storing enormous amounts of data. Key value stores are the simplest NoSQL databases out there. A columnar stored database stores data using column-oriented models rather than by rows, which makes it suitable for analytical query processing. Columnar databases store data efficiently, which is to say that these are row-oriented databases that store each record in one or more contiguous blocks on the disk. Column-oriented databases store each column in one or more contiguous blocks. Columnar storage lets you ignore all the data that doesn't apply to a particular query because you can retrieve the information from just the columns you want. Some of the popular cloud databases which use columnar storage are Amazon Redshift, Google BigQuery, and Snowflake. A columnar database stores its data by columns, with the data for each column stored together. Now let's look at wide column databases. Wide column databases use a concept called a key space. A key space is kind of like a schema in the relational model. The key space contains all the column families, kind of like tables in the relational model, which contains rows which contain columns. Within a given column family, all data is stored in a row by row fashion, such that the columns for a given row are stored together, rather than each column being stored separately.